How's it going everybody? Got a little short video today. I have added quite a bit more to this little project. If you watched my video, I know it didn't get as many views, but got like 50 views. That's fine. I've been working on it. Got a little bit more going here. Fix some bugs. Like the uh, sounds of the grass walking around actually work now. But I even added these little guys, these little zombies. And they have a little bit of AI going on, so they actually just walk around on their own. And if you get too close to them, they start to follow you around. So that's pretty cool. And it is not a game made by me, unless it has active ragdolls. Because I just can't get enough of those. But I did, because after having so many armatures and logic running, because each arm and appendage has its own logic and its own armature, it just takes up a, a bunch of resources, so you want to make these so they don't move. So you can see they don't react when I shoot them, but if, say, a player walks into them, you can move them around a little bit. And if you run into these guys, it just kind of, oh, maybe not. You'll see in a second. Here's another guy walking around over here. Oh, I guess I haven't fixed all the bugs. Here, let's just do this. <laughs> well, great demonstration. I'll be right back. Okay, as I was saying, they walk around a little bit. They follow you. Oh, I got two of them on me here. Looks like I got them stuck on the fence. And I just love how the ragdolls react now. I, it just works so great. And I did do this project in 2.5 because it works just a little bit better for some of the things I want to do for this project, like the UI. I'm not quite sure how to do the UI in 3.0. You can do it, it's just you can't really do it as easy as you used to be. Uh, looks like this guy's just wandering around. Something else I did is if they run into, say, a flat face, like one of these blocks, instead of getting stuck, they will actually be able to jump over it. And that was quite a process getting that to work. Something about taking, because I'm using the uh, Mineways to export these files to get these Minecraft worlds in here. I don't remember which world this is from. One of them I downloaded like two years ago. But still a pretty cool world. Love it. Added some lights. In fact, I even have it set to where there's a night time version, which looks pretty good. So if I go to my world, just click day, turn it to night. Takes a second, loads in, and we got this beautiful stuff going on here. I have my light sources on a different layer just to make, if I want to work on this, it makes it a little bit easier to work on, less laggy. So turn on the light, looks pretty awesome. Make sure we have our character in here. There we go, that layer on, walk around again. And it runs pretty smoothly. I mean, I'm getting 60 frames a second, which is good. All my animations are running at 60 frames. A little run animation. I just love how their eyes glow, even when it's dark out. Put a little emission texture on there material just falls right over uh this has been a fun project and i'm not quite sure <laughs> whoa <laughs> not quite sure where i want this uh project to go but i think i'm gonna add a couple more worlds because every time i do you have to for 2.5 you have to redo all the materials it takes so long i think it took me like two hours to get all the materials so you could actually not see through them and if you all want to see how I do that, how I set up these Minecraft worlds in Blender, then I can do a tutorial, leave a comment. And if you really do love, or I don't know if I'd say love, but if you enjoy my content, uh, please give it a like. Helps me out, know what I can uh, make in the future, see what you guys all enjoy. So I'm just going to end this video. This is what I've been working on for the past two weeks. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, Carl. You see that subscribe button? You want to click it? Oh, hey. I said, hey, hey, leave me alone, bro. Hey, you want to... Dude, you just had to click the subscribe button.